Epstein's anomaly is a congenital anomaly of the tricuspid valve which may manifest soon after birth or more commonly later in life. In Epstein's anomaly, two of the three leaflets of tricuspid valve are displaced further into the right ventricle. Usually, anterior leaflet is not displaced while the septal and posterior tricuspid leaflets are displaced. So, a part of the right ventricle becomes part of the right atrium functionally and is called atrialized right ventricle. Undisplaced anterior leaflet is elongated. The tricuspid valve in Epstein's anomaly can have severe regurgitation or stenosis, both of which leads to enlargement of the right atrium. As part of the right ventricle is taken away by the right atrium, right ventricle is small in Epstein's anomaly. Sometimes there is an associated atrial septal defect. As the pressure in the right atrium is usually higher than that in the left atrium in Epstein's anomaly, blood shunts from right atrium to left atrium. When the right atrial blood with lower oxygen saturation mixes with left atrial blood, the oxygen content of left atrial blood decreases. This blood flows into the left ventricle and is pumped out into the aorta. Hence, systemic oxygen saturation drops and can manifest as central cyanosis in Epstein's anomaly. Enlarged right atrium and the atrialized right ventricle can be the focus of cardiac arrhythmias, which could be dangerous. In addition, there could be an accessory conduction pathway from the right atrium to right ventricle. The accessory pathway also predisposes to supraventricular tachycardias. This is a reentrant tachycardia utilizing the accessory pathway and the normal atrioventricular nodal pathway. Mild varieties of Epstein's anomaly may not produce many symptoms and present in adult life, often detected during routine medical examination for another reason. Severe varieties can manifest in infancy with central cyanosis. Clinical examination is characterized by multiple heart sounds because of split first and second heart sounds in Epstein's anomaly. Loud closure sound of the large anterior tricuspid leaflet has been called sail sound. X-ray in Epstein's anomaly may show right atrial enlargement and cardiomegaly. Lung fields are relatively oligemic. This ECG in Epstein's anomaly shows RSRS pattern in V2. Splintered polyphasic QRS complexes as seen in lead 2 are characteristic of Epstein's anomaly. They are also called fragmented QRS. Some